thinking about the performing arts then in theatres and concert halls, what are the rules right now about what you can do? It's still the same rules that were implemented on June 15th. And it's rules that allowed us to perform concerts already in front of an audience of approximately 450 people. And uh, we gave the concert twice to make it accessible to more people. And that's also um, what we are going to face for the next season. So the, the rules at the moment, they allow us to have more than 100 people in the audience. Every hall or every venue or every promoter has to set up a, a concept um, guaranteeing um, that we uh, respect all the rules about distancing and hygiene. And um, at the moment, as long as you can uh, provide the names, the addresses, and the exact place where people were sitting, uh, you can have a big audience. If you have a concert and uh, you have all the names, you have to keep your seating plans for four weeks. That's what's uh, uh, requested. And then you can go ahead. People should wear face masks also and wash their hands and all these things when they come into the hall. Uh, you also have to respect, of course, distance to the stage, which should be um, minimum four meters. And on stage, the musicians should be seated two meters apart. Wow, it sounds like the, the, a lot of thought has gone into creating these rules in Germany. Is that because the federal government and the state's governments think it's really important to get performances back up and running? I mean, everybody in Germany who is in politics should be aware that um, the arts is not only something which is nourishing our society, but it's also um, an economic factor to a large extent. I think the arts uh, sector is one of the largest factors in our GDP. And so um, they are very aware that if they do not do anything about it, we would lose something. But there is also a big hunger, I would say, in large parts of the society. Um, and we could all feel it. I mean, maybe Andy remembers the concerts in Cologne, which were really an emotional uh, moment and uh, lacking the possibility to, to live arts um, gave to everybody a sense of how important it really is to, to live, uh, to lead a good life in a, in a society. How long do you think the these extraordinary circumstances will last? Do you think it will be until there is a vaccine? Um, that's what many people say, and there's uh, certainly some truth about it. Um, I personally hope that we will be able to get back to normal earlier. Um, and so what our orchestra did, we uh, published now a new plan, an alternative plan until including December. And um, we've all seen that uh, things developed in different ways than we expected um, more quickly than we ever thought. And so it's my hope that we will go back to normal earlier than before we have a vaccine. Um, because actually, if you look at it closely, how long did we really remain silent? I mean, the lockdown was mid of March and end of April, we already gave our first concert under new conditions again. And so I'm very optimistic that we will find new ways to deal with the situation and fingers crossed that um, the numbers and uh, um, detected infections will help us on this path. So in your, in your job with your orchestra in Cologne, you book artists to come as guests and you book artists from other countries. Do you think you will continue to book international artists or will the focus be on local artists now? I think our business has to remain international because if you want to learn from the best and if you want to share 
things that are special and that are unique. Um, you cannot avoid that um, you have to invite artists from the whole world because every artist is um, unique, singular and um, exclusive. And if you want to uh, bring this um, to your audience, you have to remain international and um, keep up this exchange. Uh, even if you look back to the 19th century, it's, it's amazing how far people like Liszt or Paganini traveled and um, even under the conditions they had at that time. But still, I think um, there will be um, another consciousness about um, regional products, about um, local identities. And I think that's also something good and something precious, which this crisis uh, may show us. Um, because I think in our industry, there was also a lot of things happening um, which were not questioned. And I think um, now it will be a different question. Um, you ask yourself, do I have to go to Asia with my orchestra to present a tour? Why do I want to do it? Which risks um, do I want to take to bring my orchestra somewhere else? And so I think it's really important that we keep this international perspective and this international exchange. But I think there will be a change um, in consciousness also for which is the tour or which is the, the concert you really want to bring somewhere else because it's you and nobody else can provide it. Patrick Hahn, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Sam Evans, and thank you, Andy, and good luck for your campaign. Thank you.